Burroughs and this is News Short. Devolution Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalwa and Kirinyaga Governor Ann Waiguru, who previously held the portfolio, were on Wednesday due to brief opposition leader Raila Odinga on the devolution conference slated for later this month. A high-ranking member of the executive briefing the opposition leader is the strongest demonstration yet of the cooperation agreement entered into by President Uhuru Kenyatta and Odinga. Over the weekend, ousted Senate Minority Leader Moses Wetangula sought community unification talks with his Luya counterpart, Wamalwa. Police are investigating the killing of two politicians in Kwale on Tuesday night. The two, identified as Kombe Gude and Nasib Diti, were shot dead in Ukunda while driving home, according to the county commandant, Tom Odera. Gude contested the Ukunda County Assembly membership as an independent after losing out in the Orange Democratic Movement primaries. Police are pursuing several leads, including tips that the murders were motivated by a business rivalry and land dealings. Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi's claim that the judiciary is infected by an evil clique has drawn sharp reaction, including from Transparency International Kenya's Executive Director Samuel Kimeo, who has termed the statements Matiangi made to members of parliament on the subject yesterday unfortunate. As part of the civil society, Kimeo views the portrayal of rights defenders as a cartel as intended to discredit their efforts to defend enshrined freedoms and the expectation of transparent, accountable governance. Persona Nangrata Miguna Miguna has also weighed in on the conversation from his patch in Canada, accusing Matiangi of displaying the characteristics of a despotic regime. For more on these and other stories, subscribe to our Capital FM News YouTube channel. I'm Olive Barrows. Thank you for watching.